Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe Tell me one thing Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be all right These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Saturday. Oven's ready. It's been a rainy movie watching day today. And we're about to make some Christmas breads. I'm hoping to make all three, but we're at least going to make two of them tonight because I have some uh, people that I want to give some of them to tomorrow. So I need to get at least two of them made tonight. It's going to be the pistachio bread and the cinnamon bread. We might have to wait on the peppermint one. We'll see. We'll see how I feel. I might get to watching some Christmas movies and just continue on in the baking spirit. So yeah, it's just uh, pretty much been a relaxing day today. I did my grocery pickup order this morning and not long after I got back from that, Titus and Jacob and Tyler left because they're playing somewhere out of town this evening. So they had to leave to go get set up for that. And they're probably not gonna be back until around nine o'clock tonight. So they just went out to eat or I don't know if they have yet or not. They're supposed to play, I think around six. So I don't know if they were gonna eat before or after, but yeah, they're just gonna go out to eat. So I ordered Chick-fil-A for the rest of us here. I asked the kids if they wanted pizza or Chick-fil-A and they picked Chick-fil-A. So Chick-fil-A it was, we've already finished eating. I do have a few dishes I need to wash up real quick. And then we're gonna start making these breads. While I'm washing dishes, I also need to wash these up. So I got these little, mini loaf pans from Walmart and I'm trying to remember I think they were like $2.98 or $2.48 something like that. We've also been playing lots of games checkers and puzzles and stuff and I've watched one whole movie with the kids so I could have already started this but y'all I need to tell y'all about these little things from Aldi real quick. These containers they're super cute right but they crack and break so easily like way easier than you know any Rubbermaid or even whatever great about mainstays and stuff like that. Like if you just drop it, it's it's not gonna bounce. It's gonna crack. <laughs> this one, it's just terribly cracked, like really bad. So yeah, I just wanted to tell y'all about those in case you see them at Aldi, that's where I got them from. They're really cute, but they're just not good quality. These have the easy kind of stickers that just peel right off. I'm happy about that. public service announcement there are only 14 days until christmas by the time y'all are seeing this there are only 13 days until christmas for some reason i was still thinking we were at like 18 17 days no 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 14 days we gotta get our christmas lights up outside so we were gonna do it last weekend and titus got called out on a cow catching call then we were gonna do it today but he got called to come and sing this evening then we're gonna do it tomorrow but he also has some more cow catching things to do tomorrow looks like i'm gonna be hanging the christmas lights will it look pretty probably not but it's happening because there are only 14 days until christmas we need lights we need to light up the night out there show our christmas spirit spread the cheer i'm not gonna go up to the top of the house i'll just do the porch <laughs> that has taken me by surprise okay y'all we're gonna start with the pistachio bread Okay, Cece Mae, we need two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Oh dear, I want to go retrieve some more sugar from the other room. One and a half cups of sugar. Three and a half teaspoons of baking powder. So you're just gonna do this and then kinda bang the little ginger girl's head. Three and a half of those. <laughs> And we also need a teaspoon of salt. I'm just gonna eyeball that one. You did three and a half? Yep. Okay. All right, Sissy's whisking that together. Then we're gonna add in three boxes of pistachio jello pudding mix. These are the 3.4 ounce boxes. We need three of them. And y'all know how 
was telling y'all in yesterday's video, which it was this morning, that the chickens had slowed down on laying eggs. Well, we go out there today and there are eight eggs. So <laughs> it's like they heard me and they're like, uh-uh, we ain't gonna let you down. Oh, we're watching Mickey's Christmas Carol, Jonah. Yeah. Jonah's our movie and music person when we're cooking. He always picks us out something to watch, doesn't he, sissy? Or to yeah. listen to. Now we need a cup of hot water and three-fourths of a cup of oil. Okay, we're gonna put in two tablespoons of buttermilk, and that's it. We'll get this mixed up. We're gonna spray the loaf pans. I'm gonna put mine on a baking sheet. I forgot that it said to add in two drops of green food coloring, so I'm gonna do that real quick. It was optional, but I guess it just makes it more green, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Behind the scenes back here, I'm doing that. <laughs> Come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant. Come ye, come ye to Bethlehem. Come. These are almost ready to go in the oven. The last thing we do is put some of this red sanding sugar on the top. Alright, these are going in the oven at 350 for 35 to 45 minutes. Oh, it's heavy. So we'll clean up all this and then go ahead and make the cinnamon bread. Choirs of angels sing in exultation. All right, we're gonna go ahead and mix the cinnamon bread. This one also doesn't take very long. Two, I mean, four cups of flour. I'll have all the recipes down below for y'all. You know what? I might need the bigger bowl for this. We'll go ahead and switch that out. Oh, doesn't it just make you so happy when Scrooge shows up at his nephew's house for supper? Two tablespoons of baking powder. One, two, a teaspoon of salt again, eyeballing. Yeah, this one's definitely gonna make six loaves. In this bowl, we're gonna mix the wet ingredients. Two eggs, Sissy Mae. Pluto's Christmas tree up next. There's one cup of milk. One more cup of milk. And two thirds of a cup of oil. We're gonna add the wet ingredients in with the dry. All right, so we've got this ready. There's also a topping that we put on top of this. It's a cinnamon swirl, so we're gonna go ahead and mix it up in a smaller bowl and then when our loaf pans cool down, we'll be ready to make this one. The swirl is just a little bit of cinnamon and sugar. All right, the Christmas pistachio bread is done. Peace. What you got? That's a piece. That's a piece? What's it a piece of? That's a cupcake. A cupcake? That's a cupcake. I think that this might have fallen out of one of the penguins. Did it fall out of this little penguin thing here? Let's see. No? Oh, it's a sticker. It looks like it was a snowman's carrot nose. Yeah. What you gonna do with it? Throw it in the trash can? Thank you. All right, the pistachio bread is done. We're gonna let these cool, get them out of the loaf pans, let the loaf pans cool down, wash them and let them cool down. Then we're gonna make the cinnamon bread. I don't think they're stuck at all.
All right, so we've got the cinnamon bread batter in the pans. Now we're putting a tablespoon of the cinnamon and sugar mixture. So now I'm just taking a knife and swirling it around. And that's it, these are going in the oven for 30 to 40 minutes. Folding clothes in between breads cooking, and this is my sock box. I keep it right up there, and then whenever I find, you know, matches, I take them out. Some people are still doing the put their socks together so they don't get misplaced thing. That's wonderful. Puzzle's about to go down again. Yeah. Look at him dancing. Okay, y'all, it's a little while later, and we're gonna go ahead and make the third bread. I got Manly to sleep, I got ready for bed, and then I just still felt that baking spirit, so I went on with it and went ahead and made this third one. It's really easy to. You use a cake mix, so it's pretty much like a cake loaf. I'm using, I think it was a triple chocolate fudge cake mix. You make it just like the package says, except for one thing, you add a little bit of peppermint extract to it, like half a teaspoon. Just gives it a little bit of a minty flavor. This is a candy cane cocoa bread, slash pretty much cake, because yeah, it's cake mix. Anyway, this ended up only making four, so I got it poured into the loaf pans, got it in the oven. It took around the same time as the other ones, about 30 to 40 minutes. By this time, the cinnamon bread was cooled down and ready to be wrapped up. So while those were baking, I got those all wrapped up. Tyler ended up helping me with the chocolate ones. He was most excited about those. I think all the kids were most excited about the chocolate ones. So once the chocolate ones were out of the oven and cooled down, Tyler started taking them out of the loaf pans for me and I was melting these baking chips. I have red and white baking chips, so I separated them into two separate little bowls, melted them down, and then we poured it into piping bags so that we could drizzle it over the top. Tyler also crushed up three candy canes for me, so while he's finishing up the drizzle there, I'm sprinkling on the crushed up candy canes. And there they are, candy cane cocoa bread slash cake, pretty much. Anyway, oh yeah, I wanted to tell y'all the pistachio bread is very good. Don't be afraid, it's very good. We've got them all wrapped up, ready to go, except for the ones the kids taste tested some over there. Besides those, they are all wrapped up and ready, and I was gonna show y'all how you could give them if you are giving away the little baking dish, loaf dish, loaf pan. I mean, you could just bake it in the loaf pan and leave it in there and give to them. I just think it looks better, you know, when you're giving it as a gift for the loaf pan to be clean, but you can still just sit the bread right back down in there like this. And just take that and it just fits right back in. Or you can just put it in like that with the bow around it or one of the bows like that on it. You could even tie the bow around the whole thing, the baking dish and all, if you wanted to do it that way. Another way you can do it if you want them to be able to see the bread is just wrap the bread in plastic wrap and then put it back down in there. Then tie a bow around it or you could just put a bow on top of the bread like that, oh, that's nice, look at that. You can see all the little candy canes and everything. So there you go. Which one's your favorite, Jonah? This one? Because mm -hmm. you can see the cake. 
yeah. When everything is white, glimmering silver white, and stillness fills the night, it's Christmas. Oh, winter 